And we're back. Man, so close to the finish, so close to the finish. I was trying to squeeze it all in on one video and probably would have been able to do it. Um, except my phone rang while it was on pause. The dreaded phone call. Phone calls are horrible when you're shooting videos. Um, just as it is if you're out there with a video camera and then, and then somebody else's phone rings. But when you're actually using your phone to shoot videos and you get a phone call, that's it, man. That's all she wrote for that video. Um, you know, because it stops recording as soon as it gets the call. It'd be nice if it just stayed on pause and let you, you know, take the call and then, and then turn back, you know, go back to the camera or whatever. But didn't happen. So uh, nevertheless, one more video. Uh, front bumpers assembled. Battery tray is connected right down there. Those were last our last little step. And then the other last step that we were working on was screwing down the battery tray right here. Body is mounted with the two top posts. Battery is in. Strap is going around the battery instead of going this way from front to back. I got it going this way. I probably should run it from front to back. I still need to hook up a light bar to it. I haven't, uh, I've got my Proline light bar sitting off to the side here. So that still needs to go on. Oh man, what a bummer guys. I am so sorry. So sorry for getting a phone call in the middle of that. I was going to squeeze it out in one last video, or in that last video. Uh, but here we are. We're turning the page. Turning the page. Try not to sound bummed out here. And we will be slapping the tire together. Fairly easy. And, uh going to end up taking the foam out of the tire because this is going to be a spare tire that's sitting on the back and I don't think we need any extra weight hanging off the back of this vehicle, not with a battery back there. And since that tire is not going to be getting used for anything, it's definitely going to go foamless. So let's grab that tire. <clears throat> Commence to taking the foam out of her. And there she is, super sparkly. Don't know why the tires are sparkling, they were like that in the package. All right, we'll just probably put the phone down for this and get this thing ready to seat. And there we go, the tire is all seated into that little teeny weeny plastic groove that goes around the outer edge. That is basically all that's holding it on along with this plastic ring. If you were to glue this tire into that edge around around the outside there, um, that would probably be your only hope of sealing these wheels. And if you did that, you're going to be wrecking your tires. So, once again, if you like these tires and you plan on using them, on something else and you're definitely going to be better off getting a different set of wheels and uh, so don't glue them down and just like anything else when you do have the ring put on they do tell you to tighten them down in a triangular pattern um, so before we even put in the other screws I just put in these three so it'd be like one two three one two three one two three one two three and just kind of slowly snug them down which is what they're referring to right here. Tighten screws in this order. And they actually have it, uh, where did I read that at? Well, I thought I read it somewhere where they actually showed like the order, like one, two, three, and so on. But it's pretty much standard with any beadlock wheel, except that these uh, threads are going to end up stripping out anyway, so there's really, I don't know if there's any much point, if there's any, uh, you know, if there's a real point to following that order. Um, like I said, that's, you know, if, if in a perfect world, if you're doing it on a wheel that has good threads, 
um, you would want to do a crisscross pattern like that just so you had it even around the bead and uh, your wheel wasn't going to come out that way your wheel doesn't come out lopsided um, but with these it really doesn't matter because all these holes are going to end up stripping out anyways and wow I was thinking that uh, thinking I had the wrong size screw or the wrong size bit it's the first one of these that I came across probably not going to focus in on it but there is no um, there's no threads on this one there's metal coming right up to the top cannot put a wrench on it so one bad screw it's kinda interesting one bad screw I'm probably gonna end up stealing one from one of those wheels over there just to finish up this process since I'm not gonna be using those wheels and just like that through the miracle of video this guy is on and all together and painted I did find the pattern. Here is your pattern right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's kind of how you would do it with most bead lock wheels or most anything when you're doing a crisscross pattern. Except you can do it on these if you want, just for the practice, I guess. Um, but it really doesn't matter because, uh, like I said, before these screws even start to tighten up, as soon as it bottoms out, like you won't even know it. It's just going to keep free spinning down there. That's all it's going to do is just keep free spinning. So it's really not going to tighten up at all. Um, just because the plastic on these wheels seems to be the same plastic as WL Toys. And um, fine thread screws, you know, they just don't hold in it. So there's really nothing you can do about it except for get different wheels. Alright, so the wheels are all assembled and it's time to start slapping some tires on. And then it'd be the finished product, so we are just about done. All I have to do is bolt the tires on this bad boy and uh, call it good. I guess we'll start with the, uh, the four, ma four main ones and just let this paint dry up for a couple more seconds, or whatever it's worth. Start grabbing up these guys. bolting these down so one more second here and when she comes back I'm sure you've all seen people bolt tires on before so you're really not missing nothing but one more second here and we'll be right back all right let's see here I think we got everything covered flip the page we are looking at a finished product and we are looking at a finished product Spare tire mounted. They gave you a uh, or gave us a full size uh, lock nut for the back of that. Got a regular wheel nut on the back. There goes a the manual. I think we can just leave that on the floor. Yeah, I don't know if it really articulates like the WL does or not. pretty plush but that is it she is all finished totally completed with the uh, Proline 1.9 XL Super Swampers and Boom Racing 1.9 aluminum wheels. Like I said, those were on the WL Toys. That is the plastic wheel off this truck. Well, I think the sun's still shining. Should we take it outside and give it a run? Not too sure here. Maybe I should put some stickers on it first. Hmm. Let's take a look at the stickers. 